Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be talking about the free ADX Forex indicator. I have made more money using this particular indicator than any other indicator that I've ever used. The RSI is a good indicator but the ADX is my hidden secret which I don't talk about all that often so if you're interested now's a good time to see a trading system you don't need anything else other than the ADX to have an incredibly powerful trading system now proof of this is partially shown in our make money EA the make money EA is our most powerful EA and as you can see it holds the top positions of all of our EAs that we trade and why is that and we're going to be looking at the indicators that go into making this such a powerful EA and there are basically only three indicators there's one MA a second MA and then the ADX indicator and how the make money works very simply the two MA's must be pointing in the same direction and the ADX is the gatekeeper and I'll explain the signals that it uses and it says in spite of the moving averages pointing in the same direction it's not the right time to trade now so it blocks trades that could be unsuccessful so it's like a gatekeeper and you'll un understand a little bit more about that as I go into this particular wonderful indicator. You can in fact trade it on its own. You don't need those particular indicators but, but the make money uses a double confirmation approach. You can in fact trade it on the ADX all on its own. So let's go and see what this a ADX is all about. Okay so here it is. Here's the ADX indicator loaded on the bottom of the screen and I'm going to just show you uh, it, it is a free indicator that is attached to all the platforms that I'm aware of. So you don't have to go and download it from some forum or some website or anything. It is already built into your trading platform and on the MT4 platform you just go into indicators it is a trending indicator so that's a clue and the confusion is it's called the average directional movement index which makes it so difficult to find sometimes if somebody's looking for the ADX so that is where you find it you click on that and it will open the indicator I'll click on it give you an idea of what what it involves okay so here are the settings that I've got on my chart as it is so I'm using a 21 period uh, I've colored it nice and blue because I'm using a white chart and then there are levels and uh, the one level I've chosen for, for today is 25 you'll see there's the line the 25 line and then there are two sub indicators it's called a plus di and a minus di indicator i'm not going to go into that in too much detail but there they are colored the one green and the other one purple so that's all you have to do you have to set a period and you have to set a level and and make the colors nice so that you can see them on the screen so so if you want more information about the adx indicator what you do and a lot of people don't realize is mt4 platform has an amazing amount of knowledge in it so what you do is you go to help you go to help topics you go to contents and you open it up and then you go to analytics analytics and you go to technical indicators you open them up and there's a whole list of technical indicators that you can look at and what we're looking at is the average average directional movement index you click on that and it tells you all about how you use it it gives you the formulas that that, that that are used in this indicator and so on so you can go and read up about all of that in the mt4 platform so any any indicator that you don't know how it works that's how you use that help facility okay so let's have a closer look at this indicator now what it does when it's going up it's not saying buy it's actually 
giving you an indication of the trendiness of the market. Now you'll understand the minute I've said that you'll understand, you can actually see this when it's not trending like over there can you see it's just a flat market the indicator is below the 25 line and it's just going sideways can you see it's just really now the minute it starts trending the indicator starts going above the 25 line and goof, it goes and there's the trend and then when it stops trending it starts going back into its little consolidation area and you can see here it is again and then when it starts trending boom it goes over and there is the trend that you want to catch so it is the most magnificent indicator for catching trends now on the screen why i've used this currency is that we've got a down trend and we've got an uptrend and it's caught both of those trends so what are the signals now there are many signals in here and i'm going to show you how i use it i have adapted this indicator to myself so what i've realized is that when the indicator goes up like this the up movements are what you want to trade but you don't want to trade those down movement because that that is you can see that there, there it is that's where the market starts going sideways so you want to stay out of the downward movements on this particular indicator you only want to trade the upward movement even here you can see there's the upward movement you don't want to trade that downward movement because that's a consolidating uh, phase so the indicator is fantastic for identifying entries into a trending market but also exits out of a trending market so what you need to do is the minute the indicator starts trending downwards you get out of your trade and the minute it's going upwards you get into the trade and that's the role of the 25 the 25 is basically a filter that says only once it goes over the 25 line do you start entering the trade so there we are and there's the build up of the of the of the uh, trend and boom 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 you just stay in it 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 and how do you get out how do you know that's not the end of the trend and how do you know that's not in the end of the trend there is no real answer to that except that what i do is i use trend lines i just draw a trend line like that and i say okay when when, when the when the indicator breaks its trend line i will get out so that's how I get out. I make sure I wait for a trend line violation to get out. And then when it's going down, you stay out of the out of, out of the market. Uh, you can go into that little. There's a little stretch that you could have traded. You can see that there's a downward downward. And again, you try and get out when the, there's either a strong hook. And in this case, there's no trend line violation to guide you so uh, again here there we are it's it, it it started going over the 25 line uh, and it started a bit late here it gave that signal quite late and you just stay in as long as it's pointing up it's fine the minute it starts going down then you get out of that because it's either going to go sideways or drift downwards in a in a in a slow way so that's it so what are the roles of this uh, purple and uh, green uh, indicator so again i'm just going to remove that to have less clutter again they are very much like the bollinger band so they when there's no volatility they just bounce around each other like that when volatility comes in you can see they start separating they they actually separate and that's when you need to get into the market and climb in in a big way then they start coming to coming together again when the uh, uh, trend is over and uh, so the the signal here is the adx must be pointing up and and these need to separate so there you can you can already see the separation so you could have got in earlier on this particular trend cause the other kind of trend lines that i use are these kind of ones so you could have got in a little bit earlier so um so when they wide like that it means the market's trending get in and when they can start consolidating like there again and, and you can visibly see the markets actually doing that and then when that's trending they separate a lot so that they are guides to 
trending markets. So why does the make money make money just using this concept? What it does is that when it is in a strong trend like there, it's over the 25 and it's trending, it actually opens buy, buy trades all the way up that trend. So it's just, it has hundreds of buy, tra buy trades and it's cashing them in as they're hitting their targets and as it's going up. And then when it reaches that point, it will either close the, uh, the uh, open trades by means of the following stop that is built into this EA or the break even stop and that type of thing. So it prevents losses when it starts turning, but it does multiply your gains considerably. Now you'll see that this multiplication concept is used a lot in, in our forex trading robots. The double in a day multiplies the open deals. The grid trend multiplier multiplies the open deals. The money making EA multiplies your deals because it's opening trades. As long as that is pointing up, it will, uh, uh, it will open deals as it's going on. So you could have, oh, 20 buy, buy trades that have happened in that particular trend and you could have 20 sell trades that have happened in that particular trend. It will not trade when the market is going sideways because there we are. It will not trade. The movement is below the line and the direction is down. So it will not trade when the ADX is pointing down or when it's below this 25 line. So, so, so as I say, you can now turn this into a trading system all on its own. You don't need me moving averages. You don't need anything else. You can trade. This is a built-in trade trading system. It's a, you can make a lot of money using this particular system. Now I must also point out that the people that buy the make money EA don't realize that this EA sits and does nothing while while there's a sideways move. It will do nothing over that period and nothing over. It will only trade those trends and those trends. So what happens is they the EA does well, it has it catches a nice trend, they go and buy the EA and it will go sideways and it will it will, might even make losses in these kind of periods you've got it it's like fishing you've got to sit and wait and sit and wait and sit and wait until suddenly that there's a strong trend and you climb in like mad and you capitalize you top up and you make a lot of money and then you go and rest you go on holiday you just wait until the next trend happens and that's the nature of the make money it will not make money for you every single day because the market isn't trending every single day but when one that happens it will make you a lot of money and as you can see it has doubled a number of accounts over the last four to five months using this trading concept very powerful concept can be traded on any time frame so it is it is a very powerful concept so just to repeat Try and trade the, the upward movements on the ADX those are the, tr uh, the, the confirmations of trend do not trade the downward movements at all. Do not trade when the ADX is below 20 or 30. 20 or 30 is most probably a good cut of po a point because then the market is in a confirmed sideways movement. It's a very simple concept. It's not rocket science. You can see the two, uh, these two indicators separating. That's a confirmation that a trend is about to happen. Here you can see the separation again confirmation that a trend's about to happen. This indicator, as I said already, it is a standalone trading system. You don't need any other input except that you need to be sharp enough. Increase your positions as the trend is going up. Now, I hope you found this video interesting and that you've seen something that you've never seen before. And also, I've given you an idea now for a trading system that you can go and apply right now, straight away. You know the signals, you know how to get in, you know how to get out. Go and test the system. It makes my heart very sad when I present really powerful stuff in these videos and people just write in, oh, very interesting comment. I know they're not going to use this. And... I can't tell you how much money these concepts make. All that needs to happen is they need to be implemented. That's all. But 
why people don't like these kind of systems because they've got to sit around and that's not exciting that's not sexy but it makes money to make money in forex you need a lot of patience and discipline don't go for the exciting stuff go for the the stuff that just pump money and this is one of them and again i just must remind you obviously this is a trending technique so you must find currencies that are inclined to trend strongly uh, and avoid sideway trading currencies that have very small trend and trendiness can also be indicated by the average daily range of a currency okay so for me alex deploy cheerio